Yes, sir. What are your thoughts on the afterlife? My afterlife? Oh, good question. Um, it's sometimes scary to think about it, like where we're going, what's going to happen. But I try to think as it's calm because we're going next to God, so He'll probably make us feel happy. I mean, happy or less stressful about if you know what I mean. I mean, yeah. Okay. Uh, so, so if you were to die today, where are you going? Afterlife, like heaven. Hopefully, heaven. Hopefully. Okay. Uh, hopefully, that's a nice one. Thank you. And uh, how does one qualify to be in heaven? Well, because I'm Muslim. We just believe in God, we pray, we read the Quran, and we're trying to do what God told us to do. Okay. So while we're doing those steps, and I think God will probably put us in heaven. Okay, me, I'm a Christian. Okay. Yeah, so uh, I've read the Quran, okay, and I've got some books about uh, Islam, mm -hmm. and I've noticed that what we believe is different to Muslims. Have you ever taken time to check the differences? No, no, to be honest. No? No. Okay. I must have heard it from left and right, but no, I didn't sit down and read the one. Okay. But uh, have you done a study of the Messiah? Who is the Messiah? Because the Messiah is mentioned in the Quran. Do you... Oh, oh, for, for, uh, our prophet? No, there's Prophet Muhammad. Yes. But he also spoke some things about the Messiah. Yes. But I've noticed that in the Quran, there's not in much information about who the Messiah is. Yeah. So. I'm just asking, do you know who is the Messiah? Not by heart, to be honest. No. 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 Okay, the Messiah is Jesus. Okay. So when you have time, I want you to do a study on why the Messiah was promised by God. Mm. Why the Messiah was to come in the world. Because the Messiah, according to the Bible or the Old Testament, he was coming so that he would uh, do a work that is to deliver people from sin so that we become right with God. Okay. So, uh, as a Muslim, you, you have the five pillars, but those five pillars, from what I've learned, they will not lead you into heaven. They will not guide you to heaven. Okay. Because the message of the Quran is different to what Jesus said. Jesus is the, the key figure. So, do a study of, uh, on Jesus. Uh, for, for you, because you've not read about Christianity, have you done anything about Christianity? When I was a kid, probably, when I went when to school, but that's it, yeah. Okay. Uh, do you have any one question for me? Mm. So, what's the difference between our uh, our Jesus and your Jesus? Like our Jesus is Isa, and yes. your one Jesus. As yes. The you call him Isa. Yeah. The difference is Isa does not have a father. Mm -hmm. Isa does not have a father, but Jesus he has a father. Yeah. You understand? Jesus he has a father. And many times throughout the Bible, Jesus says, my father, my father. When you pray, say our father. Many times you'd say father. Yeah. The other thing is Jesus died on the cross because he's sorry. Yeah. So Jesus came to die for our sins. Yeah. In the Bible, according to the prophecies and the scriptures, Jesus fulfilled that part. He died and he rose from the dead. Mm. Isa, of the Quran did not die. They say he was taken up to Allah, but he never died. Mm. So you will notice that Isa and Jesus are two different people. It is not the same person. Yeah. What Prophet Muhammad wrote 600 years after the, the proper Jesus mm -hmm. contradicts what Jesus said and what Jesus did. Mm. So those are, I'll say those are the two major things that you need to look at because our faith, like the whole world, it must be through the cross that the whole world is saved. The Bible says, For God so loved the world, God gave us Jesus for all mankind. Because all of us, we have sinned. There is none, none who is righteous. So religion does not save us. You can be a Hindu, you can be a Muslim, you can be a Christian. All those titles don't save you. What saves you is when you put your trust in what Jesus did on the cross. You understand? Yeah. So if you do the five pillars of Islam, those things, it's like you coming to a judge on your own terms. God says the only thing that will make you free from sin is the blood of my son who is dying for you. Mm. So only Jesus can save us. It's not about which church you go to, which religion you are in, only putting your trust in what Jesus did on the cross can save you. Okay. Is it making sense? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's making sense? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so do you have a Bible or you have... No, no, Okay, can I give you one? 
I mean, sure, I, yeah, I, I, I wouldn't complain, yeah. Sure. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, when you have time, I want you to start reading the book of John. Okay. The book of John. Yeah. So it's not about um, about uh, which... I'll give you one copy, yeah. I've got too many books. <laughs> so I'll give you that copy. Yeah. When you have time, start reading maybe from the book of John. Of John, so that you can learn more about who is Jesus. Yeah, this book, start here, John chapter chapter one. Lovely. John chapter one. I'll yeah. just speak like this. Yeah. yeah. When when you have time, okay. you know, look at Jesus. Maybe tonight. Maybe tonight. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'll give you my my contact. Okay. If you have any.